Okay, that is interesting. So he, this sim wants to destroy the love lives of all sims, including their own. He's going to be a little heartbreaker. Time for another spin on the drama wheel. Let's see what drama we're causing. Hopefully nothing crazy. Oh my gosh. Hey, it's Elias and welcome back to some more Sims 4 Spin the Wheel, where we're currently in San Mashuno. We're in the city visiting Victor. We just came to see how he's doing. We haven't seen him in a while. And something I actually did not realize is that we've got a lot of birthdays coming up. Coleman's birthday is tomorrow. Lori's aging up in two days. I did change the child life stage, like the length last episode, and it didn't take effect until I rebooted the game. So yeah, the child life stage is only eight days. So the kids are aging up very, very soon. We've got the triplets who are aging up today and Layla actually ages up in five days. So a lot of aging up, a lot of cast work is gonna have to take place very soon. But I also wanted to talk about the law. I've come up with some law guys about why Layla is such a terrible person. Like we all know Layla is not a good person. She has kidnapped Lily. She has broken, she's cheated so many times, so many times. It's insane. And the reason for all of this in my head is because Layla is a siren whose abilities awakened when she had her sixth child. So when she had a sixth child, she manifested into a siren. And that's why she hops from like guy to guy so easily and is so mean to Lily. Because if you don't know, sirens are known for like alluring men into the water, I believe. Like they're really seductive creatures. So it's kind of like it's in her blood, really, to be super seductive and why all the guys fall for her so easily like she's just her so yeah that's the head canon that i came up with that's the kind of like reasoning it's hard to find a reason for her terrible behavior but that's the best i could come up with and that's what i'm gonna go with so yeah she is just a siren it's in her blood and i'm just gonna have to go with that to justify her behavior but okay i think we should head home because we've got to uh, age up the triplets so let's get going. The kids met Paris, which is Victor and Lily's daughter. Oh yeah, the vet clinic. Oh my gosh, how could I forget? How is it doing? We've only made 75 simoleons. I might have to go there and like visit it just to make sure that it doesn't go under. Okay, we've got an infant outside in the snow. Can we like bring you inside? I swear we've got to fire this nanny. The way they treat you guys when we're not there. Lily, what are you doing out of your chamber? No, how did this happen? This door is locked, right? Yeah, get your butt back in here. Like no one should be able to see you. Oh my gosh, she's in the dark abyss. Okay, the game is definitely bugged. Okay, she's back in her little cell, which I should probably make it look a bit more like a cell, but we're not focusing on you right now, Lily. You stay in there and be a good little prisoner. No, how do you, no, how are you able to get out? Get back in here. I'm gonna have to unlock this door and then lock it again because for some reason it's not working. So lock for everyone. You shouldn't be able to leave. Oh, we got a bunch of money from work. Yeah, it's already 5 p.m. We should probably start aging up the triplets. So Layla, why don't you go ahead and make a cake so we can get started with that. And I'm pretty sure I'll stay over. Oh, it's still going on for one more day with our two other kids, Cadence and Cody. They're still here. I think, yeah, Cadence and Laurie are hanging out like they always are. Where is Cody? Oh my gosh, Coleman reached level 10 creativity. That's so good because you're aging up tomorrow. Your other skills aren't like the best, but you know what? Maybe Coleman is a creative child. I haven't been paying that much attention to you. I'm so sorry. Oh my gosh, he's gonna be a teen. So his like vampire form is finally gonna manifest and he's gonna be like a full blown vampire. That's gonna be so fun. We're definitely gonna have to call over Caleb to like help you train. I feel like that's gonna be really important. He is our only vampire son, by the way. Where's our horse? What's your name? Dandelion. Oh my gosh, Cody. Okay, Cody's making his way inside. Zoran, do you want to do a favor and change his diaper? Oh my gosh, Layla, where is the cake? Did you just not make it? Okay, let's try this again because I don't see it anywhere and I don't think it's in the oven. No, it's not in the oven. So let's try this again. Can you bake the cake for the triplets, please? The cake is done. We should start aging up now. Oh my gosh, you are so tired and you are so hungry and you're like in the middle. Who was first? Who's the eldest? I think... 
Carlos. Yeah, Carlos is the eldest or is it Jacob? No, it's Jacob. Jacob's the eldest, I remember now. So let's age up Jacob first. Toddlers are gonna be so much easier to take care of. I'm so excited. And leave him alone. Just get him to blow out the candles. Oh yeah, Jacob, you have purple eyes. It must be like a Caleb thing because that's not normal. Okay, our first triplet is going. What are you doing? You're supposed to help him. Oh my gosh, you're supposed to help him blow out the candles. <laughs> Instead, she's breastfeeding him. Okay, you know what? Be a good mother. We love to see it. Oh, the vet clinic. Oh my gosh. Um, Let's close. We made less money than there was before. Okay. Well, the vet clinic really isn't doing great. When's our next day off? We've got a day off on Tuesday and Wednesday. So we for sure will be visiting and trying to make it better. Try and make more than 25 simoleons. Okay, you almost done. I think now she's gonna help him. No, what are you doing? Help him blow out the candles. Okay, I think now she is finally going to help him blow out the candles. Yeah, oh my gosh, Jacob, you're aging up. <gasps> How exciting! <gasps> okay, so Jacob, I'm gonna randomize your trait three times. One, two, three. You're silly. Okay. Up next is Carlos, our second triplet who smells so bad. But okay, it's time for you to age up. Uh, I don't know where your brother is. I think he's in the sofa. But okay, let's randomize your trait. One, two, three. You're a little charmer. And last but not least is a little Tyrone. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> okay, let's get you over here to age up. And let's randomize your trait. One, two, three. You're clingy. Okay, so you each have different like traits. Why did you two age up with the same hair? I don't know, but let's just go and bring these kids into cast. So I've got to do the cast transformation like this because we have more than eight sims in our household. So you're not going to see that information in the top left or the bottom left. I've just got to do it like this. All right, here is Jacob. These purple eyes are so cool. Like, I can't get over them. They're so sick. And now time for Jacob. I'm thinking I might keep the same hairstyle for everyone just because uh, they're all triplets. I want to keep that sort of identical thing going, which speaking of identical, Carlos and Tyrone look so similar. Like, I think they might be identical. I don't know how it works with triplets. I don't know if two can be identical and one isn't, but Jacob looks the most different. So I'm not sure. I'm gonna give them all the same hair. Carlos and Tyrone have brown hair and Jacob has black hair. And here is Carlos. I don't know why I went a little bit preppy with him. And now we've got Tyrone, whose eyes are a different color to, uh, not Jacob, Carlos. All three of the kids have different color eyes. So Jacob is purple, and then we've got Carlos, who has like grayish eyes, and then Tyrone, who has green eyes. Okay, is it me, or do these triplets look so cute? I can't get over it, they're so adorable. But okay, this is Tyrone, fully done over. Still keeping with the color-coded theme. Now I've gotta go ahead and sort out their bedrooms. So let's get rid of these cribs. I'll keep the changing tables, because we're probably gonna need them. Hopefully there's enough space for them to walk around. They also have all of the toys that are in like the joint room they have like the dollhouse and stuff so there's a lot of toys a lot of things for kids to do now you are tired so i'm gonna get you to go to bed you are also tired so you can get some sleep it is 11 30 at night so that makes sense you're gonna go and get some food okay you go and do that oh my gosh you just got a bunch of toddlers around <laughs> Layla, how are you feeling you need like a shower so go take a quick shower and then you can just go to bed. Who's crying? Oh my gosh, Cotty, what happened to you? Okay, let's sort out Cotty. I think he just needs a bath. So we're gonna give him a bath. That's the only thing. I never know like what his needs are. So he could be super stinky and I wouldn't know. He could be super hungry and I wouldn't know. Okay, we're gonna sort you out, Cotty. I keep calling you Cotty, but I mean to say Cotty. Oh my gosh, and you can make friends with the other toddlers. Oh my gosh, there's so many toddlers around. It's actually really cute. Cadence, what are you doing? You should probably go get some sleep. 
you're like wiping the floor like the queen you are i forgot how much of a good child you are like seriously she's such a good kid and she's mopping the bathroom maybe caleb's teaching her some things like it's possible that caleb's parenting technique is actually really good but okay you're looking after Cody. What are you doing? You do not splash in the toilet. Why don't you just go to sleep like your brothers? We actually haven't done a spin for this video. I was gonna wait until it's like morning morning, like everyone's awakened up. But you know what? Let's just do the spin now. Why not? First spin for the video. I can't remember if I added new things to the wheel. I feel like I did add new things to the wheel between last episode and this episode. I can't remember, but we're just gonna spin anyway. <laughs> and see what we get <gasps> Ooh, no we're moving we're moving again oh my gosh why am i kind of excited i do like chestnut ridge but i'm ready to move i'm ready for something new you know okay let's see what world we are moving to i'm really i don't even know what i want i kind of want semi you know because that's just my world <gasps> No, we're moving to Sulani. This is perfect because Layla is literally a mermaid. Oh my gosh. This is all like just piecing together perfectly. Okay, what type of house are we moving to? I definitely remember adding more types of houses to this spin wheel. So we could get something that we didn't have on the wheel last time. But okay, let's spin. I'm hoping, I don't even know what kind of style I want. Just something cool. Okay, farmhouse. Well, you know what? I'm not mad at it. Farmhouse in Sulani, I'm here for. If we got tiny home, I don't know how I would have dealt with that. Okay, kids, we're moving. Oh my gosh, that means our bowling alley. We're leaving it here. <laughs> No, not the bowling alley. You know what? We didn't even use it that often. It's a cool room, but it's a I'm not mad at us leaving it. We are gonna have to find somewhere new for Lily to like bunk her up. Maybe we can finally do like a proper cell. Oh wait, if we move to Sulani and somewhere with an ocean front, we can't do a basement. Okay, that is a problem. And I really wanna move somewhere with an ocean front so Layla can just swim around because you know, that's who she is. She's a mermaid. She needs that open water. Okay, we're gonna have to figure that out, but yeah, we're moving. I'm actually really excited. We're moving to Sulani. If you don't know, Sulani is one of my favorite worlds. When I, when my sims live there, it just hits different. Sulani and Samaishuno, two favorite worlds. They're just so good and they're just so pretty. Okay, we're gonna do that like in the morning. So you go and eat. You're eating cake, which isn't very nutritious. I'm gonna actually put that in the bin. I don't want you guys getting sick sick from eating too much sweet stuff especially the toddlers Layla you can finally go to bed because you do have work I wonder how much money we'll get from this house oh yeah I totally forgot our little room I literally did this what last episode or the episode before I can't remember and now it's just gonna like be gone <laughs> it's so cute you know what it is what it is oh yeah we've got to make space for dandelion dandelion you are never home never home we've got to like do a stable for you you know what this is gonna be fun oh what are you doing awake can you stop wanting to like splash in the toilet you're still tired go to bed why are the kids awake what are you gonna do you're gonna go and play okay sure it is four o'clock in the morning why are you awake you're crying okay are you crying because you're divorced i mean fair you are excited oh it's the first snow of the year well you're gonna have to like soak that in oh my gosh look at that werewolf you're gonna have to soak that in because we're moving somewhere super sunny where it never snows so why don't you like i don't know come and do a snow angel or something today is actually coleman's birthday so we're gonna have to age him up and we are going to be spinning an aesthetic wheel so his whole like vibe is gonna change, which is kind of exciting. He never learned how to ride a bike, which sucks. I could just buy you one now, but there's no point. Like you're gonna age up soon anyway. I will send you to school. And then once you come home, we'll age you up. Oh my gosh, Tyrone loves the water. Okay, so we're definitely gonna bring the toddlers into the ocean with us. And I think the kids are getting ready for school. Laurie's taking a bath. Coleman is doing homework. Where's Cadence? She's getting some breakfast. Cody, I hope you got some sleep. You guys are actually leaving today, but don't worry, you'll be back next weekend. You know what? Should we just move now? Like, I'm ready. 
Um, we should probably have a look at stuff we need to bring with us, such as our diploma. I keep forgetting that we actually went to university. Like, that feels so long ago. I don't want to leave anything by accident, so I'm just having a look. Um, is there anything in here? Just some books, okay. Oh, our little clothing rack. We cannot forget that. Our marriage certificate. That's kind of awkward that we still have that up. Our marriage certificate to Caleb. Maybe at the new house, we can finally get our little like clothing studio. We should probably get like a vet clinic area as well since getting that skill up would be beneficial. There's nothing really special in here. Okay, um, I might bring our telescope because why not? All right, well, I think that is everything. Anything outside that I'm missing? I don't believe so. You know what, before we go, I think having some extra money would be great. So Layla, how's your needs? They're really good. Why do you come out here and sell all of these crops? Oh my gosh, and look at these two hanging out, Cody and Tyrone just having a little chat. <gasps> okay, wait, Cody, when do you age up actually? You age up tomorrow. <gasps> And where's Cadence? When does she age up? She ages up in a couple of days. Okay, everyone's getting older so quickly. It's time to move. This house did treat us really well. We've got memories in here. We had our divorce here. Got a lot of kids here. But it's time to move us to the world of Sulani. Right by the beach. Oh, it's going to be so nice. I'm actually really excited. Oh, should we move here? This massive 50 by 50 lot. Oh, I think that's a good choice. We could move to like the island over here. But 50 by 50 is good. We've got a massive family and we need the space. Maybe we could do like an ocean prison for Lily. Give her like her own island and she's stuck there. Oh, I actually kind of love that idea. Okay, I'm gonna try and do that, that's kind of cool. But we're gonna move here, we're going to sell all of our furniture that gives us 98,480 simoleons to play with for our little farmhouse. Okay, let's move. Oh my gosh, look how much land we have and look at where we live, oh my gosh. We are so lucky. Okay, um, let's have a look on the gallery for some farmhouses. Wow, some of these houses are so expensive. Okay, so it's really hard to find a home within our budget, the correct size and big enough for our huge family. So I'm gonna have to download something that's unfurnished, which is okay. I'm gonna go with this one made by Sima Indie. I'm gonna put this down. It's technically furnished, but there's nothing inside of it. And I'm gonna have to try and add stuff as we go along. We've got like 50K to play around with. Oh wow, this is insane. Whoa, okay. Oh my gosh, this could be like the little prison for Lily. But okay, we've got, I'm gonna have to get rid of like all of this because it's literally in the ocean. <laughs> literally in the ocean like this cute outdoor seating area has got to go because it literally doesn't make any sense i'm gonna have to do a little bit of fiddling around so do bear with me i might actually can i get this up on like a larger foundation will that mess with everything or oh no okay and then we could get this on stilts so it makes a little bit more sense now i had to do some serious renovations i don't think you guys understand how hard it is to build on a diagonal and having to like put the stilts in and stuff and there were platforms lots of technical things i had to do it took me an hour to figure out how to put stairs on a diagonal and yeah, it was just a lot to redo and restructure, but I did it. And we now are down to 2,473 simoleons. The house was empty and I did add some things. It's still very empty, but we've got some stairs. We've got a little living room, which is so plain. And we've got like a child's like dollhouse thingy. I did go crazy with the kitchen because you know, Layla is a chef. So I feel like she would have a pretty like big and done up kitchen. We've got individual rooms for the kids. This is gonna be Lori's room. Look how big this room is. I just had to make sure each child had a bed. So yeah, this is Lori's room. And then we've got Coleman's room, which I wanna I want to use this money for when Coleman ages up into a teen and we spin the aesthetics wheel. We can have a little bit of fun with his room. And then we've got this. This is gonna be the guest bedroom. So once like Cadence and Cody come around to visit for like weekend stayovers. They can stay in the guest room. We've got some bathrooms. I did all the bathrooms. I think we've got three in this house. 
and if I go up the stairs, oh yeah, we've got a little out front bit, oh, a bathroom there, a little out front bit so the kids can like go in the ocean. And then if we go upstairs, we've got the main bedroom here. This is gonna be Layla and Zorin's bedroom. Again, really, really empty. It's not even centered, oh my gosh. Let me just center that real quick. They've got an ensuite here. Um, oh, I didn't change the color of this railing. There we go. That's a little bit better. We've got a lot of balcony space, which is a lot of fun. So once we have money, we can like put stuff out here. And then we've got the triplets room, which again, looks really bare and like kind of gross. But I didn't have much money and I wanted them to have toys and stuff because all the other kids had toys when they were younger. So I tried to center most of the money on spending it on them. We've got their changing tables. They also have an ensuite. And then we've got our little fashion office, which which is again really empty but we'll do stuff with it once we have money like we just need to make money i think that's where the vet can come in and i know you're thinking what the hell is that this is a little tower for our girl lily so she'll be locked up here there's no roof so literally like she's gonna be rained on when it rains and stuff and she's gonna be on her rapunzel because there's no way she can get down so you know what let's actually just teleport you up here i did give you a shower so i did you quite nice um see what's happening no why don't you come up here and now she's stuck oh my gosh and it's raining so she's literally just like in the rain yeah you stink but i did give you a shower Oh, she's gonna have to have her umbrella up 24-7. Oh my gosh, it's a thunderstorm! No, why is the game doing this to you? Okay, well, it sucks to be her. Um, I'm gonna, like, assign the beds to the adults. The kids are currently at school. Zorin, you can get the left side. And then Layla, you can get the right side. Oh, and I did see that we have bills. So luckily, I didn't spend all our money. We can actually pay those. Dandelion's got her little area here. I'm gonna actually refill your feeder. And now let's sort out you guys. Oh, that's so cute. Okay, you're hungry. You need hygiene. I should probably get you guys some high chairs or something. Okay, there we go. Oh my gosh. Game, stop lagging. But okay, let's get you kids sorted out. So you're pretty hungry. Where did you get this drink from? I don't know, but that's sorting out your hunger. You need some food and you stink. So maybe your mom could come and give you a bath. And then Zorin, do you want to feed Jacob? Not Jacob. Uh, who? Carlos? No, Tyrone. Let's feed Tyrone. Okay, I think everyone's doing what I told them to do. This house is so big. Like, it's just so big and empty. Where are you going, sir? Why are you going out here to do it? Go and put down Tyrone. No, what is this guy doing? Why are you going out here to put him down? Oh, we've got an island welcome wagon. Hi, everyone. I'm actually going to end this because honestly, I don't care about any of you. I have my kids that I need to feed. Okay, Jacob, let's give you some food. Oh, yeah, we do have work today in two hours. Hopefully, we can get a promotion. Oh, we've got it in an hour now. So yeah, hopefully we can get a promotion. You two are eating your food. And then we've got Carlos. Hey, what the heck are you doing? And you leave Tyrone alone. Put him back. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. And now he's sleeping on the floor. I'm just stressed. I sometimes I really hate this game. Oh my gosh. Dandelion's going in the ocean. Horses go in the ocean. No way. That's kind of fun. Look at Dandelion in her island girl era. Oh, you did a massive dump. I'm gonna put that in the bin. And now you're just gonna play games. Okay. These kids are literally gonna give me a headache. We've gotta rehire the nanny because we can't handle this on our own. So we're gonna hire a service and we're gonna rehire the nanny. Okay, you're off to work. Oh my gosh, you're an hour late to work. Why did you, why did you go automatically? Oh my gosh, hurry up and get the... Why do they keep going no what's going on why are you going to work through the ocean she couldn't just go through the front door like what why where is she going why did she have to do all of that stuff just to go to work which by the way zorin still doesn't know that we're a mermaid interesting okay so you kids are you're not eating you're passed out can you wake up and eat please you are tired so why don't you go to bed upstairs you're also tired why don't you ask the nanny to put you to bed okay i think all the kids are being looked after oh my gosh laurie wants to invite over paris how yeah that's so cute laurie's just so good at making friends oh and let me give you guys your beds let me assign them to you 
So this one is Lori's and then this one is Coleman's, which Coleman, today is your birthday and mum's not home to make you a cake. Oh, and Lori's talking with Dandelion. Like no one ever comes and checks up on Dandelion. And during their free time, the children work together to get a head start on their homework. Oh my gosh. You kids are so good. Like, they're just such good kids. I love it. Okay, why don't you, like, hang out with Dandelion while Coleman entertains Paris? Are you guys being mean to each other? What's going on? Why don't you guys just go and watch a movie together? That could be fun. Look at them teasing. Oh my gosh. Why is this so cute? I need to remember to give Coleman his white eyelashes in cast because you already know I will forget. Oh my gosh, look at you guys' friendship. It's a non-existent. Coleman, what did you say? <gasps> okay, mom is home in her bikini. She didn't get a promotion, which is not the end of the world. Let's just go ahead and make this cake for Coleman. Oh my gosh, you guys really are getting along. Oh my gosh, this is not good. Oh, and the cake is done. I did opt for a zombie cake. Now let's get Lori to sit here. Oh, should we invite the other kids to see? It is kind of late, so maybe not, but okay. Coleman, come over here and blow out your candles. Oh, you are swimming? That's so cute. Yeah, we should probably go swimming with the kids. Oh, Layla came to join. Layla, get back inside. Okay, no one's here to see, but we are aging up with our goggles on with a missing tooth. <gasps> go, Coleman! And let's actually randomize your traits three times. One, two, three. <gasps> Oh, you're nosy. You're neat and nosy. Double ends. Should I randomize his aspiration? You know, what? why not? Okay, I've got the aspiration wheel up. Let's see what his like life goal is going to be. <gasps> oh, oh no. My son's gonna be a little player? Villainous Valentine. Wow. Okay, that is interesting. So he this sim wants to destroy the love lives of all sims, including their own. He's gonna be a little heartbreaker. Okay, Coleman. What are those ears? Okay, you know what? I'm gonna bring him into cast. Oh wait, we've gotta like spin his aesthetic, right? Oh, and now that Coleman Tyler is a teen, his vampire powers have fully manifested. He no longer has a hunger energy or bladder motive and must consume plasma to satisfy his thirst. <gasps> oh my gosh, times like this, I wish Caleb was still here. He could really help Coleman with like the whole vampire thing. But okay, let's do a spin to see what aesthetic Coleman has to adopt as a teen. <gasps> Ooh, no way, goth. Okay, that goes really well with the whole vampire theme. I'm just having a look at some inspiration. We've got very different like types of goth that I'm seeing. We could go different routes, but you know what? I can play with this. I, I think we're gonna go more vampiric goth. Like that just makes sense, right? Yeah, more like this kind of vibe or something like this. Yeah, that's kind of cool. <laughs> Okay, but like, who said Coleman could look this fine? I'm sorry, but he looks so good. This hair, oh my gosh, this hair is so cool. I don't even know who this is by. Um, I have no clue, but they snapped. This hair looks so sick. I have no clue if I did goth justice or not. You guys are gonna have to let me know. I also did a more, I guess, modern vampiric gothic outfit for him as a second outfit, which I think looks pretty cool. But yeah, here's Coleman. He looks so good. Like, oh my goodness. Coleman, I'm so sorry we don't have much money for your bedroom um, to like do some fun stuff to it. I'll try and like do some stuff off camera. I'll see if I even can. Oh, and you have a strange thirst. Yeah, maybe I should get you a coffin. That would be the only upgrade I do like within the episode because I did so much building before that I kind of just want to play. But I will give you a coffin, nothing too expensive. You're just a baby vamp, so you don't need anything huge. Yeah, I'll just put it like in the middle of the room. <laughs> in the middle of the room, like that. All right, how's everyone doing? Lori's gonna get some cake. Lori, when do you age up? You age up tomorrow. So you are also gonna be getting a wheel spin too. And then Zorin, you are like in your adult life. The Layla is just hanging out here four days until she ages up. She's in bed. How are the triplets doing? Before you go to bed, 
let's check and make sure you guys are okay you really need a bath so let's get the nanny to sort you out how's lily doing up at no look at dandelion what are you doing sam yeah lily is just having a great time with the rain um she's got some like cups here milk and water okay you have nowhere to put them you might as well just put them in your inventory can you i don't think you can okay but dandelion's like running on water that's kind of cool you know okay well everyone seems to be doing well oh my gosh look at coleman because he's like neat he needs to clean up everything that is so funny to me a neat goth vampire oh and we have two days off so we can like sort out the vet clinic and stuff you know we should probably focus on making money so we can actually furnish our house that would be nice oh you have low fun and low hunger you know what should we make some outfits really quick we have one in our inventory let's sell this outfit on trendy i'm just gonna do like 600 sure we'll see if this sells i remember we did like i think it was a 3000 simoleon outfit and it sold which is really cool oh let me lock this computer for everyone but household okay why is the nanny leaving my kids are still toddlers i still need you here okay you know what let's do a spin i want to do another spin oh yeah layla's gonna go and have a swim which makes sense why is th why do people keep swimming like out here instead of taking the front entrance i don't know why if you guys have any clue why they keep doing that let me know it's so odd like why do they swim out back to leave like the nanny's literally swimming in her clothes time for another spin on the drama wheel let's see what drama we're causing hopefully nothing crazy <gasps> oh my gosh no what we've got to abandon one of our kids what the hell oh my gosh okay abandon that's a crazy like choice of words do i just leave them at a park or something like how do i do this do i give them up to custody because as you can see the option just before it is give up custody of a child so like they're not the same thing abandon a child is like leave them out in the in the dust oh my gosh okay we've got all our current kids on a wheel these are the ones that live with us, not the ones that Coleman have. And we're going to abandon one of them. I still don't understand what I meant by that. Like, what does that mean? Do we just leave them on a doorstep or something? <gasps> oh my gosh. We've got to abandon Carlos. Oh my gosh. Okay, we're going to have to like leave him on someone's doorstep or something. I can't believe we're abandoning a child. Like, this just confirms Layla's terrible personality. She's a terrible person. Who abandons their child? I need like a reason for why she did this. Maybe it's a siren thing. Like, they've got to abandon one of their kids once their eldest becomes a teen. I don't know. That doesn't make much sense, but we're just going to roll with it. They've got to abandon one of their kids because to manifest into a siren, like I said in the beginning, they've got to have six kids. And so I guess six kids is too much. So at some point, they've got to get rid of one. And Carlos is that one. No, we have to split up the triplets. That's so sad. Oh my gosh. That's actually so sad. Okay. How are we going to do this? Let's let's go somewhere who are we gonna like leave carlos to wait before i travel i actually do have i think what mod is it i have the relationships family and pregnancy mod by who is it by again i can't remember their name i'll have it on screen we can give up uh, a kid for adoption i believe i uh, is this how you do it but i guess this isn't the same thing as abandoning a child yeah we can give up uh, a child for adoption to family or friend that's actually not bad but you know what we've got to abandon carlos so let's travel we're gonna find a random home in a random you know let's randomize the world that we're gonna abandon carlos in <laughs> okay let's have a look we're just gonna like have to leave him on someone's doorstep so we're gonna abandon him in willow creek i'm just gonna choose some random household you know what if i'm gonna abandon my child i want my child to live in some nice house so what about the brooke family i don't know who they are oh it's only one person dustin brooke oh my gosh he's a celebrity and we're gonna travel with carlos wow look at this house okay honey i'm gonna give you a little hug before i abandon you affection hug lovingly oh this is so sad. Like, he's literally one of the triplets. Oh, I'm sorry, Carlos. This had to happen. Let's knock on his door. I'm pretty sure Caleb is going to be so mad at us for doing this. 
But okay, where is Dustin? Is he here? Um. Oh wait, is he downstairs? No, where is he? Oh, he's in bed. Oh, look at your like mega mansion, bro. But well, we're gonna wake you up. I might have to use the mod. I feel like it just makes more sense because I don't want Layla to have contact with Carlos. Or maybe we should get him taken away. That's just evil though. You know what? We're gonna get him taken away. I'm gonna cheat it. I'm gonna make him really hungry. We just wanna get him taken away. All of his needs are going down. <gasps> Oh my gosh, and now Carlos has been taken away. Due to neglect, Carlos is being whisked away to safety. Maybe you should consider a goldfish but before jumping into parenthood again. Oh my gosh, Carlos is now gone. He is no longer a part of the family. He just disappeared off of the doorstep. It did take all night, but he is permanently gone. Layla's life was permanently altered by the death of death. He didn't die, did he? No, he's still in the family tree. He's still in the family tree. He just was neglected. Caleb is probably gonna be so mad. But okay, we abandoned our son. Our little, what, like two, three-year-old son? I'm gonna leave this video here. This ending was insane. I can't believe, I can't believe one of the twins is gone. But hopefully once Carlos is a teen, even a child, maybe we can rekindle something, but yeah. We abandoned one of our children, like what? If you guys did end up enjoying this video, make sure to give it a like and subscribe if you're new and I will see you guys in the next video.